evening. I'm Andrew Chang. And I'm Deborah Arbeck. Tonight, police launch an investigation after officers' pictures and telephone numbers were posted online. The files appeared yesterday and have quickly gotten lots of attention from the public and the police. Joanne Brackus has been looking into this for us. And Joanne, uh, this was originally being called a cyber attack, but police are backing away from that. Now. That's right. Uh, it was uh, initially, uh, people suspected that uh, this was uh, hacking, uh, but police have confirmed today that there was no breach of the system because the information in these files is technically public. But someone did take quite a bit of time to get all of these pictures and all of this information online. This Dropbox or public file sharing system contains names and phone numbers of dozens of Montreal police officers. The information uploaded is actually public, but it's the way that the information was posted that caused police to launch an investigation. And everything could be public, but when I put all that together, I put your picture, I put information about you on a context to, put, to intimidate you, to, to, to put a stress on you. The file also contains photos of police officers, some with names and badge numbers, others unnamed. Pictures of people identified as undercover officers were also posted, but Lafreniere says that information is false. This is a priority for us because it's been mentioned that the uh, website of the Montreal police was attacked and that was a success. just want to confirm you this is not the case. The information that we get on the website, on the Dropbox, it's not even sensitive. Terry Cutler helps companies keep hackers out. Although the SPVM system was not actually hacked, Cutler says it's easy for individual users to accidentally put the whole system system at risk. You don't know what the users are going to do, right? So um, if they click on links and their computers become infected. It's very, He's very, hoping very the SPVM will continue to get in front of this ever-evolving problem. The hackers are finding so many ways to get in that by the time you learn the technology, it's already obsolete. Something police say they continue to work on every day. We know that we had attacks in the past from uh, Anonymous, uh, but we've been able to block them. Blocking them is something to catch these people. This is something else. But uh, we do that for a living, and we'll put all the effort to find them. Now, police have launched an investigation, and they say they'll be looking into the possibility of pressing charges against whoever uh, is doing this, and they're really looking at this as a, a case of intimidation. All right. Thanks a lot, Joe.